Welcome back, heroes, to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Last episode, I believe we finished the Friendship Cup, and now we're going to be dueling Jack, Atlas, and Kite this episode, which I am so excited about. A lot of people said I might like Arc 5, and honestly, I am really, really digging this, and once I finish this game, I'm 100% going to go watch, uh, well, finish off Seal, start Arc 5, and then I'm going to watch uh, Reigns, because it just seems really cool. But anyway, Chain Game. So Yuri led Obelisk Forces' invasion into the Synchro Dimension. For a new Domino City into turmoil. You Lancers came to this dimension to protect us from exactly this kind of situation, didn't you? The Lancers came to help defend against these enemies, to team up with your own duelists and work as a united force. Obelisk Force tracked down Selena. Ha ha ha! Selena! Ah! <laughs> Come on, guys, you can relax now! Sora, it's good to see you. Good to see him? You lost your mind? Did you forget that he beat up Shay and tried to take me too? Chill, I'm here to help! Not bring you back to the academy. On the same side now. <laughs> Why would anyone willingly choose the losing side? He looks just like me. No, he doesn't though. He really doesn't. <laughs> so many traitors in such a small space. The professor will not be happy. I finally found you, you snake. As usual, your timing is terrible, Pogo. Can't you see I'm occupied at the moment? So what? That's what you get for taking Rinrin. What the professor wants, the professor gets. He wanted Rin just like he wants to get Selena now. You reached the end of the road, you punk. I think you meant to say the end of your road, silly. After all, your odds of winning are zero. Well, I like those odds. Wait, that doesn't make sense. But I'll beat you anyway. <laughs> Cannot believe I have to do this moron. Dude, I like uh, Hugo's hair a lot. It's so cool. And, oh, you better believe it. This moron's ready to fight. Let's duel. Okay. Do we know what deck um, Hugo uses at the moment? Oh, sorry, Yuri. Uh, Hugo uses the uh, speed roids. I know that, but... I don't think we've dueled Yuri yet. Or seen him duel. We'll be using fusion stuff, won't he? Alright, uh. What are we gonna do? Right, we're going first, we're going second, we're second. I always expect to go second. Alright, so clear wing Synchro Dragon, still like our boss monster. Uh. What do we want to go for? I'm gonna set this. Uh, set magic drain. Set read dicicle. And uh, in my turn. All right. See so if this uh, is any good. And what deck do you have, my boy? Evil Swarm, okay. Oh, dude, are you serious? Uh, I guess we gotta activate Magic Drain. I'm gonna discard a card to negate it. He does, okay. I'm fine with that. Alrighty. Ha! 2000 defense, boy. Get wrecked. We need like a tuna right now. Oh that's, oh, that's not even a tuna. I thought it was for a second. Uh, when this card is normal summon, you can target one lower off level three or lower speed road once on your graveyard. Special summon it. There's nothing in the graveyard, so we'll just um, summon this. And if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, I should probably take that out because I can gain attack. Alright, nice. And I guess we're in. Not bad at all. I think we got this duel in the bag because you got two cards unless he has like some major draw power coming. Okay. Right. Oh, Super Soul Nutrient. Okay. So he's fusing. Great. What is that, dude? That looks cool, but... Oh, that's that monster? Oh, sweet. Okay, we can get rid of this, then he's got no cards in hand. I'm just going to see what this actually does. Oh, 
Right. Uh, two dark monsters in the field except token. If this card is fusion summon, you can make this card attack gain attack equal to one opponent's special summon monster to the end turn. Once per turn, you can target one level five, high, level five or higher monster your opponent controls. To the end of this turn, this card's name becomes that monster's original name and replaces this effect with that monster's original effects. If this fusion summon monster card is destroyed, you can destroy all of your opponent's special summon monsters. Okay. Right. Uh. Why can't you be level three? Um. Wait, can we do this? Oh no, effects, I think his effects are going to be negated, right? No, okay, it's good, yeah, then we go... Activate effect. We don't want... This. See ya. And then, that goes, but it's fine. And then we'll just... Normal summon this. That we can get the other thing from the graveyard, which is a thousand attack. Nice. And then we can do uh, 2400. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, he's got no cards in hand and no cards in the field. Like, he's got a top deck. Top deck's amazing right now to come back. I mean, to be fair, William is a monster with more than 1400 attack, which is, to be honest, kind of doable, but. And if he does, we're still fine for a little bit. Okay, maybe he hasn't got something that can beat us, which is good. Come on, good monster, good monster. Ooh. Right, so if we special summon this, we can get a tuna. And we activate the effect. Right, uh, which one does what I think? I only need this one, don't I? I was clearing level 7? I think it was. So let's make this a 6. You got your... What? That's going to activate? Oh, okay. Uh, you can banish this card from the graveyard immediately after this effect resolves. Synchro summon one wind synchro monster using monsters you control including a speed or a tuner. I don't know about just yet, no. I'm gonna wait. So I'll just do it anyway. I can save that, but clear wing synchro dragon, let's go. Dude. Yuri got absolutely wrecked. Alright, so, that's battle phase, attack that just in case it's got, oh no, zero, zero, cool. Alright, next turn we should be able to win. In before dark hole. Oh, okay. I guess the two tokens, right? Or just special summons a monster, great. Oh, is he fusing again? Wait, we have a quick effect though, which is um Okay, I need to just like check what we can do. So unfortunately his uh, fusion is very powerful compared to ours. Right, what is going on? Uh, I don't know, but I think we can negate it. Activate effect. Once we'll turn Jamie plays turn when level 5 or higher monster activates this effect. And yep. Sorry boy. Time for you to get wrecked. See ya! We have 5,000. That's a bit 5,300 attack, but if we draw a monster with 1,200 more attack, we win. Oh, I can't attack this turn, but. Dude, this, this duel has been. I think so 
I know that we're winning by a lot right now, but I feel like it's been so close. Like, we're just counting each other so much. Oh, dude, man. I think it's been a good duel. Very good duel. Okay. I don't know what these counters do, but I'm assuming that. <laughs> right. Oh, that works. Then we get the dude with 2000. Because now he's special summoned, he can attack. Win? What? What is it? What is this effect? Once when you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, place one okay. Is level two or higher becomes level one as product. And the damage step is kind of as a monster with a level equal or lower. It was level two, what? Okay. It had no counter on it though. And that's not a damage step when this card battles a monster with Equal or lower level can destroy that monster, then increase this card's level by the original level the monster destroyed. Maybe it was still. Oh. Okay. Now we didn't check the actual number, it might be level 6 then. Oh snap, so what do I do? Is it once per turn? Once per turn, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, place one predator count on it. If it's level 2 or higher, it becomes level 1 as it has a predator count. At the start of the damage step, when the, this card battles a monster with an equal or lower level, you can destroy that monster and then increase this card. Is that once per. Is it the once per turn for the damage step part, or is it. I think I just have to go for it, just to check. I think. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, it's always then. It's not once per turn. Level 14? <laughs> Okay. How do I beat it then? <laughs> I'm so confused on how I beat this. Okay. So surely I can't beat. Oh, Trenchal Tribute, nice. What's this? Oh. Uh, okay. Summon another monster. Summon another monster, I dare you. Please. Please. Okay. Yep. See ya. Now we just need a monster, and then we're good. Oh, please don't get special summon again. Good. Monster, 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 monster. Thank you. Alright. Oh my god, there's Dual Man! Oh, I can get it from the graveyard as well. Oh. Anything they can special summon itself? This dude. Just needs the extra bit of damage and we got it. Let's go! Alright. Woo! Lucky for us. Let's win this. Oh man, this duel was so back and forth. I, I don't understand that card though. That plant. That's just annoying. Okay, anyway. With Yuya, Yugo, Yuri, and Yudo's spirit in the same place, they entered a trance. Oh. Reunite has won. Reunite is won. Reunite is won. Reunite is won. I'm resurrecting now. Wait, Yuya? Suzu's voice brought that, uh, broke that trance, and Yuri and Yugo disappeared. Without Yuri's help, I'm not sure we'll be able to capture that girl anymore. Let's retreat for now. Oh, okay. Right. Oh man, friendship finale. I thought we finished the cup, but well, I guess like we we won the tournament a bit. Now we win to get, to get um, we won to battle Jack Atlas. So in the friendship cup finals, Yuya face off against the last tournament's winner, Jack Atlas. Meanwhile, Roget used the ongoing chaos to take over the government. Attention, people of New Domino. The chaos you are witnessing is proof that the High Council has failed you. 
To ensure order, I have no choice but to assume full authority over the city and its government. He's lying. He's using the chaos so he can take over the city. But people, both commons and topsiders, you can't let him. The city belongs to you. Yuya, you have to convince them to stop fighting each other. Do attain your weight into their hearts. Aww. Yuya and Jack took center stage. Your attention, please! Jack Atlas and I are about to duke it out in the final bout of the Friendship Cup. Jack and I will put on a show guaranteed to rock every blo block in this uh, metropolis. It's showtime, Jack. Oh, so you really think you can entertain my crowd? We'll see about that. Let's duel. Oh, dude, I can't wait to see what Jack brings. Hope he's always like his resonators and stuff. Oh, I love Jack Atlas so much. This is so annoying. I wish I watched Arc 5 now. Like, I had no idea that. Like, this whole. I had no idea about the story. No idea, like, Jack Atlas, Crow. Just. It's just so cool. Hey, Stargazer Magician's back. Okay. Tuning Magician. Oh, you got the Resonator still. Nice. There's Red Resonator. So we have a Synchro in our deck? Okay. So what are we doing? I honestly don't know at this point. Oh dude, I remember this card. Um, I only remember it because when I tried to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh! and I was trying to get all the Dark Magician support, like the uh, Dark Magic Circle, uh, Magician's Navigation, this was the cover card of the box and I think I bought one box and I pulled this and I sold it. So that's the only reason I remember it, but no idea. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's got a lot of a lot of text, okay. How do you summon it? One tuner and one or more non-tuner synchro monster, okay. Uh, level 10. So, let's go Pendulum Call. What do these do? Oh my god, so much text. Once per turn you can target one from power or odd eyes monster you control. We haven't got odd eyes, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then we're gonna, oh my god, we have so many magicians now as well. Forget you and you. Right, and then we go play some pendulum. Play some pendulum, be one to eight. And then we can just pendulum summon all three of these. Using all our resources here, but if it, you know, pans out, then it ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. What do you even do? I have no idea. I'll read you in a second, but we're getting you out anyway. <laughs> all right, and then we can activate the effect. If you have two magician cards in your pendulum zone, while well, this card is in your graveyard uh, or hand, you can special summon this card. Banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use effect to the magician once per turn. If this card is normal summon or special summoned, your opponent gains 400 life points. You take four. Pfft. Okay. Can we make that cool synchro pendulum then? I think we can. Yes, we can. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, wait, we can make this one instead. Wait, wasn't everyone like a 10 star? One tuner and one or more non-tuner synchro monsters. Seven, eight, nine, ten. It's got to have like, some sort of effect to it. Uh, for this card, synchro summon, you can treat one pendulum summoned monster, one pendulum summoned pendulum monster you control as a tuner. For this card is synchro summon using a pendulum summon pendulum monster tuner. You can target one card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can half your opponent's life points. Oof. This card is in the monster zone, is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. If pendulum monster you control attacks for that battle, it cannot be destroyed by battle. Also you take no battle damage, at the end of the damage step, if a pendulum monster you control attacked, all monsters your opponent currently controls loses attack equal to that attack and monster attack until the end of this turn. Oh, Okay, that's a lot. So what does this even do? This card is synchro, summon using a magician pendulum monster as material, you can target one spell card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Can you use the effect? Okay, do I have any spell cards? I do. A pendulum call. Um, so I might as well get it. Right, so we got this bad boy out. 
It's pretty sick, and this got attacked twice, right? Yeah, might as well add this to hand. Oh! Now we can make it! With what? These two? Okay, so it's got to be one tuna and one of my old non tuna synchro monster. I totally missed that part. Oh, dude. Whew. Now we got it. Okay. So now we've got this bad boy. And now we've got to try to read his effect again. Right, so this card is synchro summon using a pendulum summon pendulum monster tuna. Was it? I think so, yeah. You can target one card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. When this card destroys a monster by battle, you can half your opponent's life points. Okay. Right, so let's take this. Add to hand. I, I don't know who we should get. Probably this dude. Right. And this is, um... Tell my ones feel good. Okay, so now this will die right away. So if we battle phase, please don't have a stupid uh like back row that kills me. Nice. And then half your life points. Oh boy! Let's go! Like legit, that was that was our first turn. That was our first turn and we did all of that. That was that was a god hand. And I had no idea how it was actually that was just all fluke. Still learning these like pendulum cards and my god. I actually like this deck. I like pen like I like these magicians, they are so cool. I like pendulum. Good to know. Right, so if we tag this, they kind of hit spell or traps. You're destroyed, half your life points, then we win. Jack Atlas just got absolutely wrecked. Dude, I I love Pendulum. <laughs> the Friendship Cup concluded with a new champion. Yuya, you did great, Jack. I relinquish my crown to you, for now. But believe me, I'll regain it soon enough. Let me hear it. New Domino City, he earned it today. My fellow citizens. Now that our friendship cup has reached its exhilarating conclusion, the council has deemed this an ideal moment to announce some momentous news that will impact the whole city. We've come to realise that if New Domino City is to survive, everyone in our society must come together. That goal seemed impossible, but today Jack and Yuya showed us that the city can be unified. New Domino will no longer be divided in two. Hey. Oh, there's his, like, boss monster. Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend. What? Dude, that looks so cool. Anyway, now it's, uh, I guess, Declan versus uh, the Synchro Dimension Counselor dude. No idea what Declan's going to use, but his plans forwarded. Roget attempted to escape for a dimensional transporter. You know you've been beaten, Roget. Let's get a little puppy dog scurrying back to Duel Academy. This is not a retreat, Missy. This is a minor setback, but I will return. I don't think so, Roget. You won't have a chance to come back because you're, not, you're never leaving here. Uh, why do you think Duel Academy sent me here? Because I alone was capable of conquering this dimension, just as, just as I will conquer you. I want to see about that, dude. We will see about that. Oh, dude, that Jack Atlas duel was so good. So good. All right, Declan. I have no idea what deck you use, but please be a cool deck because you got deck in your name. <laughs> oh, you use pendulums? Oh, you're the DD guy. There's that synchro I saw on the loading screen, like DDD something, something looked really cool, but. Use ancient gears, okay. Good to know. Right. There it is, the curse, like, Siegfried, and we've got a fusion as well. This guy's got fusion, pendulum, and synchro, like, what do? Now, during your main phase, you can add one DD monster from your deck to your hand. 
Uh, once per turn during your standby phase. Oh, okay. I guess it'll be worth it. Activate the effect. Get one to hand now. Who do we want to get? I don't know. Uh, I think was that? I saw an eight. Yeah, let's get this dude. So we can make a one to eight. Uh, you cannot pendulum summon monsters that have DD monsters. This effect, can, this effect cannot be negated once while this card is in your pendulum zone. You can negate an activation, activated spell card effect that would inflict damage to you. Okay. Right. So that's a way to stop this. And then this does. Uh, you cannot summon a pendulum monster except for DD monsters. This effect cannot be negated. Okay, once, once per turn you can discard one DD monster, then target one level or six lower DD monster you control against 2,000 attack and defense. Cool. Right, so let's pendulum summon these three. I'm finally starting to understand pendulum summon a little bit. The only thing I'm not too sure on is when they get destroyed and they go to the extra deck, how to get them out of the extra deck. Just need to double check that a little bit. Right. Let's got this dude out. What do you do? Uh, you can switch on this card from your hand. If this card is special summon to your field, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn. Okay. Fair enough. When your opponent's turn, if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can target two face-up spell trap cards you control. Push some monsters the rest of this turn. Okay, uh... This card's in your hand, you can fusion summon one DD monster from your extra deck. Oh... Okay... It's fine, let's just go for the attack. Let's do some damage. Pretty sure it summoned you as well, because you're a tuner, aren't you? Yeah. I forgot we can normal summon. Wait, yeah we can. We can't special summon at the moment, so that's not good. I got to just leave it because I can't special summon monsters at the moment. Because that's stupid wolf. Should have summoned that first. Oh, I don't know, because I wouldn't be able to get them out. But now I know, this, this deck, I'm not enjoying this deck at the moment. <laughs> so I have no idea how it works. Okay, defense position, that's fine. Right, I'm gonna pay the thousand. So I can get another card. Uh, what do I want? This dude kind of, seems kind of cool. When this card's normal summon, you can add one face up dark pendulum monster from your. Okay, I'm gonna get you can pendulum summon you, I think. Right, uh, so let's activate effect. No, I don't do that, just summon it. I can make this dude with these guys. Nice, all right, so what's your effect? Uh, let's see. So during either player's turn, that's always good. You can target one face-up spell trap card on the field. That target, that target has its effects negated until the next standby fight phase. Okay, once percent if this card is destroyed by battle card effect instead of the graveyard, gain one thousand life points for each dark contract card you control. So I can negate this effect, and I won't take the thousand life points, right? And let's pendulum summon these two. Dude, Pendulum Summoner just seems like... Well, before like, the whole Master of Four when you didn't have to put him in the Spell and Trap cards, it seems like it would have been so broken. I'm just getting all these cards out, man. Just... I feel like the game must have been so fast. Right, I'm going to attack this with this. Nice. Alright, 2,800. Two, oh, 300, then 200 and 600. Dude, we are so winning this duel. Unless he gets his big boss monster out, then it ain't looking good. Oh, that's a tuner as well. 
Ooh, okay. Right, and turn. But you like, next turn we can win. That would be great. <laughs> uh, can we activate? Oh no, not yet. It's probably on the end phase, right? Okay, you can activate your effect. Take 600, that's fine. Don't activate that. Okay. Battle phase. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yep. Go for it. Take 400. Nice. And now what? We just win now, right? Surely. Oh. Uh. Yeah, let's negate it. Oh, do I want to do that? Eh, it doesn't matter. Oh, I've got to pick one now. Oh, God. Oh, I can start to the effect though? No. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh. Ooh. Normal summon this and special summon DD from the graveyard. Just get this. Never know, 100 life points might come in handy. Alright, so let's win this duel. So that's an easy 1 8, and then 2k. Done. I have no idea what this deck did, or like how to properly use it, but managed to destroy him easy. <laughs> Rurik decided to use this dimensional transport to erase the city. You are going to, into the void to disappear forever. Ta-ta! See you never! But Rogat's plan backfired, teleporting him, him instead uh, of the city into the dimensional void. Ah, in your face! Are we safe now? We are. Rogat won't bother us anymore. So let's win this war and go home. Yuya. What the? Yuya, what's happening now? Not sure, but it looks like the Dimensional Transport is rebooting. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Everyone's going. What happened? Seems Rogat's Dimensional Transporter malfunctioned and created a wormhole. They were transported to another dimension. Yuya and his friends appeared in an unfamiliar place. What happened? Whoa, looks like New Domino City got totally blown away. We're not in New Domino City. How'd you know? Because this is my home. What's left of it? We're in the Xyz dimension. Oh. Okay, and there's Kite. Hey, rush to revenge. Dude, man, we had some pretty sick duels. So Yuya and the Lancers were teleported to Heartland City in the Xyz dimension. They soon ran into Kite, Tenjo, fine Obelisk Force. People of Heartland live in peace. To the day Duel Academy struck. They invaded from the fusion dimension without warning. Invasion mastermind by the leader of Duel, Duel Academy, the Professor. On the day Heartland City fell, we lost family, friends and everything. But I'll keep fighting and make Duel Academy pay for what they did to my home. Oof. Come with you turn them into cards. They got what they deserved. They're from Duel Academy, my sworn enemies. But not even my worst enemy deserves anything so awful. Imagine being trapped inside a card, that's horrible. Don't know who you are and I don't care. Getting rid of all of you right here, right now. Kai Tenjo is one of the best, if not the best, in all of Heartland. But he's acting differently than before. The Kai I knew always had a smile on his face. Oh, really? <laughs> now I, all I sense is rage. A rage so intense that it's consumed him completely. If you dare oppose me, you must be from Duel Academy. No, I swear I'm not! You, listen to me. In your duel with Jack Atlas, you were able to really get through to him. But you must realise that because you both were working towards the same objective. The same objective? Yes, you both wanted peace to prevail in New Domino City. But Kai is so angry that he's not fighting for peace. He's fighting for revenge. It's impossible to get through to him. Remember what you said. Use your power to keep the world entertained and smiling. That's exactly what I intend to do. Yudo, just sit back and enjoy the show. Let's duel. Alright, I'm ready. What the? What is, is that? A dragon and a scorpion mixed? Oh, what, what? Who designed that card? That was horrifying. Jesus. Alright. Oh, dude. I think we need to use Kite later on, don't we? So we can use this, like, Galaxy Eye stuff. Oh man, I missed them so much. Okay, Shining Angel. And face down. And we have, like, new stuff as well, which is... Which is good, I have no idea what they do, but... Okay. Ooh, a nice Pendulum Dragon, nice. Right, so... If we go Pendulum Call... Get rid of you. I think I want to get you and Time Gazer. 
Right, and then if we go... Put you there. Put you there. What's your effect again? This card battles an opponent's monster. Any battle damage this this card inflicts to your opponent is doubled. Sweet, okay. So then we go Pendulum Summon. All four of you. Oh dude, this is actually brutal right here. Alright, get you out. I swear. Kai, if you stop me right now, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Because we about to go in. Okay, and then summon you, and I don't know what even you do, we've got one fast danger attack, that'll, that'll do. <laughs> so this card is normal summon, you can add, oh it's not even normal summon, but uh, don't want to activate you, oh wait, 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 activate effect, stop your effect, what can we make? Oh that, um, don't want to make that at the moment. Because we're gonna actually, we should actually. Yeah, we should. We should make this. Because that even has two thousand five hundred attack. It does some battle damage. So we best do this. Oh, can we win here? We're about to do a lot of damage. I think, I don't think we can win, but I think we can almost win? Right. If I go activate effect now, actually. Get the extra 700 attack. And you take more battle damage, you'll be doubled as well. So, attack. No spell trap card can activate because of them. Sweet. Oh, your effect works in the graveyard. Keep forgetting that even I negated, doesn't even matter. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh my god, you live with 100 life points if you don't stop this attack. Oh, okay. Stop the attack, but it's fine, just kill it. Dude, I was so close. That, was, that could have been game. That could have been game. I swear, if he just destroys me right now, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Oh, okay. Okay, that uh, face down Ben will be like Mirror Force or something. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so intense. Okay, what does this do? Phone control is a special summon monster and control at least. Okay. Yeah, it's not gonna help. So let's just uh, battle phase and try and win. Okay. Got a trap, that's fine. Come on. Hey, you can't anything, anything, we win. Hey, Kite got wrecked. Pendulum's too OP. Oh, dude, that was. That was so good. <laughs> Stop the duel. What? Use our friend. Is that. a Che. So then, they aren't the enemy? No, they fight for what we fight for. Put a stop to duel, duel academy's destructive ways. How do you know this to be true, Shay? Because you just, uh, Sakaki, saved my skin more times than I can count. And we can sure use your help, Kite. I'm much better being off my own. Kite? He's gone. Oof. Okay, oh, he does have Galaxy still. Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. Oh boy, that look cool. So, next episode will be Dueling as Alexis, which would be pretty cool. Why don't she sell us that the Blade Dancer stuff? And then Yuma ver not Yuma, okay. Yuya versus uh, Asta. Kite versus uh, that dude I don't like. And then I don't know who you guys are. We're doing them for next episode. Alright, ooh. Damn, I've got wings, that looks cool. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace!